Tim Mater here. I'm out in the greenhouse this morning, getting ready to change out my nutrient solution. I thought I'd go over um, what it's like to mix up the nutrients. It's real easy. I use the same thing an MHP gardener does on his channel. I got calcium nitrate. You can get that at the local farm store. I got Epsom salt, a magnesium sulfate. You can get that at the drug store or a farm store. And then I got the uh, Master Blend 41838 from Morgan County Seeds. Same place Bobby recommended getting an MHP gardener. Comes in a bag like this. I've grown uh, two rounds of tomatoes, 14 buckets off of this bag, and I still got all this left. Anyway, I thought I'd show you just how easy it is to mix this stuff up. The, uh, the formula, turn this on for this. I got this little scale here. Put that on there and tear it out to zero. The formula is 10 grams per five gallons, and I've got about a 30 gallon tote. So five goes into 30 six times and then 10 grams times six is 60 grams of the master plan. So 60 grams for 30 gallons, but it's pretty easy to figure that out. So we're just gonna put this in here. That's 18, that's 28, that's 42. Then kind of slow down a little bit there. That's 56 grams right there. So you can see the 60 grams is not a whole lot. So that's 60 grams of that. And then same formula for the calcium nitrate. 60 grams of calcium nitrate, or tear it back out. Or you can dump it out, doesn't matter. So that's 20, and that's 40. And that's 60 grams of calcium nitrate. And then, the Epsom salt is only five grams, grams per five. So I put 30 grams of uh, Epsom salt in for 30 gallons. So it's really just one gram per gallon. That's all said and done. So that's, that's almost half right there. So that's 30 grams of Epsom salt. So that's it. That's all it takes to mix up the nutrients. All right, so we got it all mixed up. Yeah, my watering can's got a little small spout on it, so I'm going to use a cup. So, I'm going to use a cup. Pour it in my watering can. Then I'm going to take this and uh, mix it up with some water and put it into my nutrients. I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so it's time to pump out my nutrient solution. Uh, I've talked about the way I valve this thing off. Show you real quickly, I got a, uh, this is my water hose coming in right there that's got a valve on it. I'm gonna shut that valve off so the Kirk valve won't continue to fill. So let's shut that off. Okay, so I got that valve shut off. No water can come in. Now, there's a valve right here going into my one run of tomatoes. I'm gonna turn that off. And then we got, we got a valve here going into my second run of tomatoes. And then this valve over here just goes through the greenhouse. And uh, it goes out the back wall there. So now when I turn the pump on, it's gonna go out the back of the greenhouse. Water's turned off here. I got my second reservoir on the other side. When I flip the pump on, you're gonna have water coming out the back of the greenhouse and it'll pump these uh, reservoirs almost dry. So let's get to pumping. So it's the end of summer here in Virginia. You know, so I've got kind of weedy back here behind my greenhouse, but uh, what you can see is these are the two lines that I got coming out the back of the greenhouse and that's my nutrient solution just being pumped right out onto the ground. That's probably why the weeds are growing so good. I'm pumping out this fertilized water onto them. But that's what I'm talking about making it easy to make this nutrient solution swap out. So as soon as this is done, we'll put the new nutrients in and I'll show you so that. I'm ready to put my nutrient solution back into my reservoirs. I showed you this in my bill video. I just added a 45 on the end of my drain line. So uh, pull the cap off. I got my nutrients that are mixed up in here. Got them good and mixed up with water. So we just pour them right into the end of this drain line here. They'll go right on back down into my reservoir. Make sure we get it all out. Next time I'll rinse this out. So 
I got all my nutrients out of there. And then I'm just gonna rinse a little bit just to make sure that I get them all out of the line. Of course, as the system runs, first time it comes on, anything that's left in this pipe, it's gonna get uh, washed right on back down into my reservoir. And that's it, we're just about done. So all I got left to do now is turn the water back on. So I'll turn this main valve back on. And so that valve is connected uh, into the reservoir into the Kirk valves and so both reservoirs you can hear them they're filling up right now as soon as they get full I'll turn the timer back on and everything will be set and ready to go so it took me about 15 or 20 minutes to do my nutrient swap out this morning uh, pipe up your reservoirs like this or something like this where you can pump the solution out automatically and uh, do the little uh, add on at the end of the drain lines to help you put your solution back in here and you'll be in business.